Might I hound you with doggone puns for this edition of Uncovered? Don't tear yourself about it. Your key to contributing is just settle down and watch as we take a look at some famous dogs on classic album covers. Some people thought that Amy Winehouse's Frank album was named after Frank Sinatra or the art of being Frank in a conversation. It's both wrong. It's actually the dog, Amy's dog, Frank, on the album cover. Nora Jones's The Fall didn't sell as much as Come Away With Me, but then what album did? The last song on the album is called Man of the Hour, and it's about how we as people have more fulfilling relationships with dogs than human beings. Maybe she should have called the album Come A Wag With Me. <laughs> Michael Wilson took this photo on the way to Warner Brothers Studio in hope to secure some work. It was chosen to be the album cover for The Replacements All Shook Down and launch Michael's own career as a photographer. The Man in Black was on tour in 1992 in Australia and the idea was to take a photo of Johnny Cash around railroad tracks, you know, to make it a little bit more American. But that idea changed to wheat fields instead. While they were taking photos for the album cover, two dogs came out of literally nowhere and situated themselves on either side of Johnny. That was the classic album cover that they needed. An apologetic dog lover, Eric Clapton has often used his own dogs and dogs from his friends on his album covers. His dog Jeep even graces this album cover from 1975. There's one in every crowd. Rick Springfield has a huge place in his heart for his bull terrier Ronnie, AKA Lethal Ronnie, and that's him on the album cover. Rick and Ronnie had such a special bond that when Ronnie passed away in 1994, Rick got a permanent tattoo of a soaring eagle that symbolizes Ronnie's soaring spirit. I'm Eric Alper. Thanks so much for watching Uncovered, and be sure to check out more bands on sessiondex.com.